They may start small, but thanks to restoration, they get very, very big. Don't call it a comeback. I think it's time for a field trip. Audio Jungle. Hey everybody, I'm on the Maumee River in Toledo, Ohio. Today, we're learning about one of the oldest and largest residents of the Great Lakes region, the Lake Sturgeon. I'm heading over to the Toledo Zoo to learn more about this fish and why people are working so hard to repopulate it. So can you tell us, Matt, what is this space? What is this tank? What are these fish? Can just tell us what's going on in this space. Yeah, so this is our Lake Sturgeon touch tank. Um, this is our public viewing and touch area for our Lake Sturgeon reintroduction program. So we're involved in reintroducing these species uh, to the Maumee River and then Lake Erie. And this is our public front that is kind of serves as our education and outreach area. Okay. So we have uh, our staff that sits here and can interpret for people. People can wow. come in and get some hands-on experience with the fish. And we also wow. have some education materials that talk about the background of the project and our eventual, eventual release of the fish into the Maumee River. Right. Can you tell us some of the things that are so unique about the sturgeon? Yeah, so the sturgeon are really this iconic fish here for the Great Lakes. They're okay. our largest fish. They can get okay. to be upwards of eight feet long. Um, wow. They're a very ancient fish, so uh, hundreds of millions of years old, a body plan that's remained unchanged since the time of the dinosaurs, um, and they just really resonate with people. And they're obviously endangered, and so we are trying to reintroduce them back to their native uh, habitat. That seems like a pretty big problem, you know, in a long road to try to get to the increasing of the population. What are you guys doing about it? Uh, I, I can tell you, but I'd rather show you. All right, well, let's go see. Wow. Okay, is that what I think it is? Yeah, this is a juvenile lake sturgeon. These are... Like pocket size. Yep, yeah, so these are what, these, they'll grow into what we saw in the tank uh, wow. eventually. By the time we release them, they'll be about eight inches long. Um, these are all of the sturgeon that are, uh, we got from the eggs we, that were collected uh, in the St. Clair, uh, by St. Clair this, this early this spring. What exactly are we looking at when we're, we're right here So this now? is our streamside sturgeon marine facility. Okay. So uh, this is a permanent version of the streamside facilities where uh, it's mobile, they can pull it behind a truck, they park it next to the river, wow. and they pump in river water. Um, the idea is that they imprint on the rivers where they were hatched and where they spent the first year of their life. So if we raise them on the river water, they'll cue in on those chemical signals and come back to where they came from. Imprinting, can you tell us yeah. what that is? We know that at some point in time in their life, they recognize that this is where, this, this chemical signature is where I come back to. So when they're out in the, in the lake, and it's time to spawn, they pick up on the chemical cues coming out of the Maumee River and right. they say, oh, I'm gonna go back here and lay my eggs. Nice, nice. So we know that you release them. How do you know where they go? So each one of them gets a little pit tag, okay. uh, the little kind of home again chips you use for your cats and dogs, okay. the size of a grain of rice. And then wow. a, a, a subset of them, about 40, get acoustic transmitters. And that okay. essentially gives each fish its own radio station. Okay. And so already we've seen fish that moved up and downstream in the Maumee River and spent okay. the first year of their life out here and are now out in Lake Erie. They've gone, you know, they, they've moved out there. So um, we're, we're pretty hopeful that this has been successful so far. Yes. They're a great ambassador species for a lot of the issues we're facing here in the Great Lakes. Uh, they're also an indicator species of, you know, water health. It's going to be so amazing to have a five to eight foot long fish, you know, be able to see that. Right there. It's, it's, just, it's a very powerful image for people. Yeah, yeah. Jungle. Thanks to everybody at the Toledo Zoo for showing us how people are working behind the scenes to reintroduce the lake sturgeon. Now we know how important they are to the Great Lakes wildlife. For more information, check them out online or plan your own visit. As for us, our field trip is over, but we'll see you next time. Thanks for coming along.